Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all enjoying your FIFA 22 experience so far, if that's on the EA Access or just on the web app. Best of luck in your starter pack. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your hands on some super easy, really nice packs just by completing two to three matches in objectives. So we are heading over to objectives and the milestone tab. So they did this last year where they had a finishing mastery and an assist mastery. It was 500 goals, I believe, to get your hands on a 100k pack. This time round, we've got score 50 goals to unlock two 75 to 83 rated rare gold players, which is damn good early game. But the most important one we're completing in this is the finesse 100. Score 100 finesse goals, right? And you get a 50k pack for this. You may be thinking that is a lot of goals, but I'm going to show you how to unlock it quite easily. There's also an assist mastery one that you can be doing on the side if you want to. Assist 100 times midfielders rated 75 plus. I'll talk you through that one as well. And there's also one more objective, guys. If you can get all of these done at the same time, it makes sense. They've got silver squad and bronze squad. So these are essentially to play games, score goals with silver players in a certain amount of games. You may not end up unlocking all of this via this objective, but definitely chip away at it. But enough waffling, let's show you guys how to get your hands on a 350k pack. So we're heading over to squad battles for this, guys. And we're going to play on the lowest difficulty possible, okay? It may be a bit of a slog and it may sound a little bit daunting, but trust me, it is going to be worth it early game. So we're on beginner and we are going to be using a full silver team. These are just silver cards that I had in my club or I went on the market and picked up for cheap. But any silver team works for this, guys. Don't copy my one here because silver price is all over the place. Use players that you've got in your club already. Go out on the market and pick up cheap cards. And in all honesty, you don't need to complete the silver objective while doing this. You can use your regular goal side if you want that more consistent shooting in front of goal. Sometimes doing this, I've noticed that some <laughs> these players let me down a little bit. All right, they got 60 odd shooting on the card, but I'm still managing to do this objective quite nicely. So what we're gonna do is hop into a beginner squad battles match. Uh, fun, right? Just make sure you've got a stream on or some YouTube on in the background while you're doing this, guys. And it is only two to three matches. You can get this done in two games, but you're going to be laser focused. You need to be sweating away. But what I'm going to do here is swap quickly into a 4-4-2 formation. Uh, I'll tell you why in a second. But 4-4-2 is where we have swapped to. Let's put a Juke at front because he's got a bit of pace about him. And it is as easy as this. They're going to take kickoff, guys. You go and tackle them. If you want to do the assist, make sure to lay it off to a player. If not, Go all the way through on goal. Make sure you get close enough to find the back of the net with the silvers and rinse and repeat. All right, it is an absolute grind early doors. But if you're only spending half an hour to about 45 minutes to do this, you get yourself a 350k pack and also that 270 something to 83 rare players. It's a no-brainer. But yeah, I definitely do recommend using the silver team for this. Just so you're chipping away at that objective as well. As we're still on EA Access, we do have a limited amount of time. Uh, it definitely makes sense to try and combine as much as possible. And this can get a little bit frustrating, but as I said, make sure you've got a Twitch stream or some YouTube or music or whatever floats your boat on in the background and you'll, uh, you'll be just fine, guys. So I'm going to crack on with this, score as many goals as I can in this one, make sure they're finesse goals as well, and then I'll show you the packs once I lock them. I forgot to mention why I swapped into a 4-4-2 for this, guys. It just makes it easier to get the assist. If you've got two strikers, when you press and get the ball, intercept the, uh, the AI straight away, you're going to have another player close up the pitch to kind of lay it off to just to reassure yourself you're getting the assist. So guys, as you can see, I'm almost done with this. It took me three games in total. I ended up scoring about 40 goals in the first two and had to finish off with 19 in the third. In total, it took me about 45 minutes to get this objective done. And that is going to be a 50k pack and a very nice two player pack just for that little bit of work. So we'll take that. Let's crack on with this then. Skip through the squad battles. God, I do not want to play any more squad battles anytime soon, that is for sure. One thing I would say is probably worth skipping through the squad battle teams to make sure you're playing teams with low rating and low chemistry. It may be obvious, but trust me, if you're playing a team like this and they've got an insane goalkeeper, even on beginner, goalkeepers are overpowered this year round and you may struggle a little bit. But let's head on over to objectives and let's cash in. So for completing the nifty 50, which is scoring 50 goals, we get two 75 to 83 rated rare goal players. And this could be very nice if you manage to pack yourself one of those super overpowered starter cards. We've also got the rare players pack for scoring 100 finesse goals. This is the big boy. This is what we came to get. So I've got a little selection of packs, but the main two packs you get from this objective, the two 75 to 83 rated rare goal players. Let's see if my pack luck continues. I did get a little bit lucky yesterday. I managed to get myself Joe Gomez. Uh, which I'll take, but we got, oh, there we go, exactly, untradeable, but this man is worth a pretty penny right now, an 80 overall, Daniel Marlon, I'm pretty certain he's in that 5k bracket, 
But yeah, so 5 to 10k, and he may go up when the full game releases. So that's a nice little bonus on top of what we're going to get in the 50k pack. So let's go. Let's see if this little bit of time was worth the grind. 45 minutes. Was it well spent? I'll take Daniel Marlon. And it's a board. Is that Dutch centre back? There you go. An 85 overall. The lit. We take those. I'm not sure if he's worth too much money. He's not in 80 pace bracket. That's basically what I'm basing that off. But do we have a dangler in here as well? A nice 50k pack. A team of the week. We get ourselves a Valverde, and fortunately, this is a duplicate and tradable. Absolute shambles early game. Uh, this man goes for about 30k as it stands. The lit himself goes for about... Oh, he's under 10k. That is insane. Are you guys invested in these cards early? Let me know if you are, because I probably should be doing the same. And then, of course, we get our Sasuke Puta, which is quite nice, actually. I may give him a go uh, later on. Only 3-star, 4-star. But this is the kind of stuff you can get, guys. Very easy to pack these players. Unfortunately, these are both... Oh, this might not be tradable. He is. So we get Valverde, who I'm going to have to put in an SBC, and Big Man the Lit. But if this helped, guys, and if you managed to pack yourself a sick card, please do drop me a like on the video. Make sure to get down in the comment section and let me know who you managed to pack. And I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.